Hi everyone, it's Yolanda and I'm going to show you another vintage junk journal that I've made. This one is eight and a half, almost eight and a half by six and a quarter. Um, to make this one I also used a cereal box and I had to go out and buy the cereal because we are not big cereal eaters. So I purposely had to go out <laughs> and get the cereal box. Of course you can also make your own cover from scratch but anyway I used a cereal box for this. This is just paper I picked up at the store. Got lots of lace and trim, fabric and the back. I think this is gorgeous and it's got lots of crochet lace on it. This is a paper bag that you can put whatever you want in there, cutouts. This is also open so you can use it as a tuck spot there. And there's lots of trim on it. Again cutouts just from various catalogues that I have. Beautiful little pocket there with trim. A little booklet that has got stamps and all this paper is coffee dyed. There's just music paper, I think that's so beautiful. There, a little pocket with a tag in it and a charm. Some of this paper is, um, it's white bond paper that I used and I've antiqued, uh, distressed it as well as dyed some of it. So it's a, there's quite a variation. It's quite varied in here. Nice big tag with a pocket. You can make a notation on there. Buttons, brads. This also has a charm of a slipper. And it's got a pocket and inside is a tag. And then if you turn it over, this is also an envelope that I that I used and it's got beautiful tags in it that can be written on. I think they're gorgeous. This journal also has lots of lace and trim and buttons and charms. <laughs> and I just stapled this on. This is a belly button. I cut this out from a French crochet old one that I've got. It's just a tag in there. And room for more. This is a tuck spot with a butterfly on it. Another tuck spot with a tag. And this paper is quite dark. I thought it came out really nice. Different, you know. It's more like a charcoaly colour. So let's put that back in there. All my journals have loads and loads of space for, for telling your story. I just picked this up. It was in a book from the old uh, secondhand shop that I went to, St. Paul's of London. <laughs> so I thought it was quite nice just to add it. And this is also a pocket and inside there is a tag. paper clip with some ephemera and I just edged it with this. I thought it was quite nice. Now the big two pockets here that you can slip what, anything inside there. This has got a little booklet in it that you can write on. It's got some of that charcoaly paper in it as well. And this is just trim and crochet that I used a safety pin to attach. And turn that over for journaling. Belly band, card to journal on, and then if you open that, oh hang on, <laughs> and here's another pocket. This is an envelope as well with tags in it, big ones, and this opens out. ephemera that I cut out and glued on. This is a bead. 
This is a tuck spot. I used washi tape on here as well. Tuck spot. A tag with that bronze heart. I bought a whole lot of them. I thought they were really perfect for these journals. And I just cut out, this is actually from a music sheet. Paper uh, envelope. So you've got a pocket there. Beautiful tag. I enjoy making these tags. Maybe I'll do a, tu a tutorial with the tags. Or we'll just do a, you can work along with me. Let's put it that way. This is just some chipboard from my stash. A tab from samples of wallpaper that I got a long time ago. Music paper. So it's really nice. Some ephemera I cut out. <laughs> this is from a book on vitamins and minerals that I've got. This is, I don't know what you call this paper, like tracing paper, I suppose. And this is pattern paper, lobelia flowers. I like the contrast of the white paper and the darker one. My band. And in here. And there's lots of tags in there. Actually, I'm going to put it like that, I think. There we go. Lots of place to journal. This is washi tape. You can journal on the back of this pattern paper. And there's that lovely, lovely paper again. I want to get some more of that. Where from? I don't know. A tag which I got in a pocket lady swap. Which you can mark your place in the journal. Lots and lots of place to write your story. Coffee dyed paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, from that uh, crochet, French crochet book that I've got. That's really old. I must actually look up the year on it, you know. Pattern paper. I like that you can see the material, the fabric through that. So. Hmm. Old paper that I had lying around. I love this. Don't you love this edging? It just worked out like that. <laughs> go, lots of paper, there's a tag here. You can actually colour that in too if you want. Don't you like that drop there again? It was hanging underneath all my other papers that were drying out and I love it when it drips like that. So just a quick run through to show you the bones of the album. This is a tuck spot. This is also a tuck spot. I love the lace and trim. This is a glassine bag. Paper clip and of course it opens and this comes out to journal on or picture. And it's all bordered with broader lay. I'll do that later. <laughs> Otherwise I'll sit here fiddling for ages. A band and I pinned that on there. The tag with another charm for, you, for journaling. Most of my pages are stamped. We are almost done. Here is another tuck spot. It actually opens out. So you can use that as a tuck spot. And this has got a gold charm. Rose that I made. Another little booklet with stamping on it. And it's a nice little pocket there. 
and turn it over. More room. Pocket. This opens. I can find the end. There it is. And another little booklet in here. So that is my album. Oh, no, not my album. My junk journal, vintage junk journal. I suppose that's what you call them, huh? And, um, and that's the back. So again, plenty of room. The closure is the lace. So they say everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to leave some feedback. And if, if you're South African and you want to buy this from me direct, please contact me via email and I'll respond as soon as I see it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Ciao.